Hi, today I'm going to show you how to take advantage of a feature that is only offered through the growing Acuity plan, offering um, packages and gift certificates while you're only on the emerging, emerging plan. And the reason why I'm showing this is because Squarespace recently acquired Acuity Scheduling. If you were able to get a Squarespace business level plan prior to July 31st of 2019, you were um, given for free a lifetime access to the emerging plan. And that's what I have and many of my clients have. Unfortunately, the one thing the emerging plan doesn't have that a lot of people want to take advantage of is the ability to sell appointment packages. So that is um, you sell a certain type of appointment and it's a certain price and if someone buys four of those appointments up front you're going to give them a reduced price and so um, if you have this growing level plan which is a great plan you, it's already built in but if you're lucky like me and you have a free plan or say you are paying for an emerging plan and you're thinking you might want to offer packages but you aren't sure how your clients are going to welcome that and you, you, you don't want to make the extra $10 a month investment if it's not something they're going to use, I'm going to show you how to offer packages while you're still on the emergence, emerging plan. Now it is a little more work on your end and the reason where the work comes in is that you will have to actually create and send coupon codes for your clients to book the remaining appointments in their package. So the way it will work is they will come in, they will per purchase the package, and they'll be prompted to schedule that very first appointment within that package. And in their email, we're going to send them a confirmation and tell them that we are going to send them a code that they will use to book the remainder of their appointments and we're also going to send them a link to where to book those appointments and explain to them how to do that in the email. That piece of it isn't automated and if you were using the growing plan it would be automated. But again, if you're on the free plan and you're budget conscious or you're not ready to upgrade, this is a way for you to test it out. So here we go. So on my website, I offer Squarespace support and I offer um, guided video support calls and you can see right now I'm just offering a one-hour support call but I do offer packages I just haven't offered them on my website but clients have been coming to me asking for them more often and so I'm going to actually integrate it here in my Squarespace website so that someone can choose between um, just purchasing one call or purchasing a discounted package so here we go this is how it's going to be set up so I'm in my acuity and you can see I was just on vacation and we're going to come into appointment types so you can see that I've actually already done part of the work so the first step is to create the package version of your service or your appointment and so here you can see the regular support call is one hour and the support package is for one hour sessions. Now this does say one hour at 30 minutes and that is why I've added the additional information in here. So, um, so you set it up for your first appointment, but you're having them pay for the full um, amount upfront. Now if someone scheduled four appointments with me separately, they'd be paying $400. So this gives them a $25 discount. The second thing you want to do is if you don't already have a special category, you want to put both the package and the single appointment version into the same category. So you can just say create new category and type a name in there and say save. Now I already have a category that I created. They're both in support calls. So you would just come down here and say save. So remember, you're setting up the, this the information for the time as if you were just doing the one appointment. But for the price and the description up here, you're indicating the package information. And then we're choosing that category. We're making it public and we're going to update appointment type. Okay. 
So, and you're also going to want to go into that existing call you may have had and make sure that you've selected the support call categories. The reason why this is important is when I go to connect to Squarespace, in order for both appointment types to show up in here, I'm going to need to use this direct scheduling link. So let's copy that and we'll come into Squarespace and we will edit that block and here is my appointment scheduling block. It used to be called Acuity Scheduling and now I'm going to save it to this new spot that has all of the support call categories, this, this new direct link. And so now you can actually see the package shows up and the one hour call shows up. Now what I don't like is I don't want the package to be up front. I feel like that's a little deceptive or what would be called a dark pattern. Um, I want them to be able to choose the single hour session first. So let's come back in here and all I'm going to do is just click and drag to reorder. There we go. Now the support call is on top and hopefully when I refresh my live page, there, now you see they have the option of the one hour and the support call package. So that is the first step, creating the group or the category that they can both go in there, creating the package appointment, and then updating the link in Squarespace. Okay, the second step and this is this one's the big step is you want to change the email information that goes out when your client receives their confirmation email um, for that package. So you're going to go into email settings and we're going to look at this initial confirmation and initially when you create a new appointment, especially if you're just doing a copy, it will go into the same um, confirmation category. It will use the same confirmation template as the one you copied. And that's how I did create it. I just copied the other one to start with. So what we want to do is we want to add a new template and you want to select the package so that it's going to get its special email so we can let them know that they need to expect a coupon code. And then you're going to save new template. And then what you're going to do, and I'm actually going to close this because I've already done this step, is you'll see it's added a new initial confirmation. Now you'll see I actually have multiple things in here, and that's because each one of these works the same, um, pretending it's a package. And so the way we get around it is I actually change the wording up here to say that you purchased a strategy session pack. And if I was in the support call, well, it's going to only show me strategy. So it shows them that. And then what it said, it shares the information of that first session they scheduled because when they come through and they choose a package, they're going to be prompted to set up that first appointment. So in the confirmation, what that we're sharing with them is when that first session is scheduled. And then we're also going to tell them that they're going to receive an email shortly with their personal coupon code that's going to allow them to book their remaining sessions. Okay, so that's step two. The first step was creating those appointments in the right category and connecting it to Squarespace. The second step was coming in here and creating a new initial confirmation template and making sure that we selected our packages and put them in there and just updated it to say first session scheduled and to have um, the appropriate wording to let them know that they're going to have a coupon code coming to them. Now the third step is to actually go in and create those coupon codes and now this is where it's manual. When you get your copy of the confirmation email, which it should come to you, mine come to me, um, when you get that confirmation, you're going to come back into Acuity and you are going to come into appointment types and select coupons. Okay, and now you're going to say new coupon for appointments. And you're going to say enter multiple coupon codes. And now what you can, I'm going to call this um, support call package coupon. 
codes. Now the reason why it's multiple coupon codes is because what we can do is create coupon codes for the customer that just booked and then later on if new customers come in and book we don't have to reinvent the wheel we can just create new custom um, coupon codes for those um, other clients so they can all go in here so you would create um, let's see Joe one and you have to keep them simple and actually, I would call it Joe 2, Joe 3, Joe 4. And it's a reminder to them that about which session they are booking. And so you don't have to remind them, oh, you already used session 2. They know they use session 2 because that coupon code isn't working for them anymore. And so it helps them keep track. We want this to be a 100% discount. So it's going to take a full price. We want to say... Um, total number of uses for each coupon code is one. We only want them to use it one time to offer packages without upgrading to um, the growing package level. Now what I would say is that if you're booking a lot of packages take advantage of the growing. As You have to ask yourself is it worth ten dollars a month for me to not need to go in and create these personalized codes in the email and the emails for the clients. And if you're booking, you know, 10 clients a month, that's only a dollar a client to have um, that element taken care of for you. And in addition, you get text messaging and you also can offer um, recurring subscriptions, which means you're automatically billing them every month or a membership. Um, so in that situation, I'd say maybe the threshold is 10. Once you get to 10 clients regularly booking packages a month, it becomes really worthwhile to just go with that growing plan. But in the meantime, when you're just dipping your toes in, use this method on your emerging, emerging plan and, and test it out and see if it's going to work for you. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.